There was a fishy in there. So a little smally. There you go. I knew there'd be one up in there. Little guy. Another little one. Look at the little belly on that one. Goodbye. Another little one. Ah, that got it. God got it. So I'm out here on the stream today, and uh, just wading around. Just got some little gym running shorts on. Um, got my little water shoes on. My cheapo water shoes. Got my it's a you know spinning rod here with a yellow braid with a fluorocarbon leader. Just fishing these little tubes and uh, with the internally weighted jig head makes them fall really funny usually triggers these inactive fish to bite every year when you know one thing about these streams is they're ever changing and when you come back you never know what they're going to be like i've not been down here since the fall and this was not nearly as deep last fall now there is a tree going down through the middle of there so it's kind of hard to cross um i ended up walking up and around but uh you know these streams are ever changing just kind of like life is ever changing um uh, you know if there's one thing that you can count on it's that life will continue to change i'm gonna probably make a stupid cast and cast over this log into that current and if i catch something we're just going to have to figure out, hopefully, how to get it over that log. I'll just pull it over that log and let it die. Yeah, it's just a weird, man. That's a brave little toaster cast right there now you know if I catch a big one right here that was a big old bite I jinxed myself on it okay I know I said last cast but we're gonna try that again something just dunked it like a badonk that was like a big that was like We got all tangled up here. I wonder if this fish is still on here. Yep, he's still on there. Like I was saying, those fish up there were probably rock bass. Not to say I'm like fishing Nostradamus, but. Average pace zero seconds. Heart rate on one point three. A little smallmouth there. That's probably a better one of the day. Little guy there.
Ow! I stubbed my toe and it hurt real bad, but I'm out fishing so I can't be sad. <laughs> Holy big ass rock. That's what those fish get in behind down in here. See if we can get behind those big old rocks. Son of a pickle! Oh! <laughs> ah. thanks for watching the video guys like you saw wasn't the best day ever i uh, didn't catch a bunch of huge fish but you know that's part of it guys when you come out on a stream like this a lot of how good your day is is based off of your expectations and, you know my expectation today was to come out here cool off maybe catch a few fish and have a good time enjoying the beautiful outdoors. So if I'd come out here with the expectation that I was gonna catch a 10 pound bass, every single time I come out here, I'm gonna be disappointed because that's just not gonna happen here. You know, I've caught some decently good smallmouth out of the stream, you know, 20, 21 inches, um, probably like the biggest ones that I've ever caught out of here. But man, like even catching these little ones is a ton of fun and just being outside and enjoying nature and you know for me as a christian that's one thing that i've learned a lot having my faith is that when you put your place in god and you hand things over to him you let go of those expectations and you give it to him you really just have a lot better life you enjoy things a lot more you get rid of those expectations and you're just able to live in the moment and uh be the best person that you can be but guys as always i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's been a nice break from my workout program as of recent to get out here cool off the legs in the stream but as always don't forget get outside do something awesome and you know it take somebody with you to get a chance and i'll see you in the next video